Ash. Back to basics was an emphasis this week. How do you feel your team did throughout practice? Oh, I mean, I think okay. I think it's hard when you, you know coming off a short week, and you know it's hard to focus on you know fundamentals in in the walkthrough that we had on Wednesday. And I thought today, I think you know we've pro progressively gotten better uh, each and every day in our preparation. We'll have to continue to do that tomorrow, and uh, you know on into Sunday. A short week last week for Dennis Daly, but a little expanded work time with him now. What's what's kind of the observation since in his progress? I mean, he'll play left tackle for us, you know, I mean, it's, it's what it is. So, um, you know, he filled in there and, you know, got some more work this week. So I'm excited to see him go play. Mike, yeah. early in the week, you talked about no wholesale changes. Why is it so important to maybe even lean more so into kind of that identity as opposed to changing things up when things aren't going? Well, I mean, I think it just, you think about every time throughout our, all of our lives when things haven't really been um, great, you know, I mean, we've all faced adversity is, you know, you rally around what you believe and, and your core beliefs and your family, you know, people that you trust. And that's, that was what my message was, is, is just going, you know, doing the things that we believe in that we know, uh, you know, works. Is this line equipped to, to go out and push people around for 60 minutes, you think? I think everybody that we put out there is expected to do that. Derek had mentioned how the sense of urgency he felt it needed to increase in this, you know, where you guys are right now. Is that something that you've noticed and, and how? Well, I mean, we'll see on Sunday, like that's, it's when the, we need to be most urgent and most effective and most efficient and, and execute. But one of the things that you always say is Sunday is a result of your preparation mm -hmm. build up through the week. So in that build up, have you seen? Yeah, I mean, I just, just talked about how, you know, I think the, the Wednesday walkthrough was, was a good start and that we progressively have gotten better. Um, you know, ultimately we'll have to go out and adjust to things uh, that happen on Sunday. Mike, when you talk about your core beliefs, just running the ball in general, how much of, is that part of your beliefs, regardless of roster or anything like that, just the importance of being able to run the football? I think that there's a physicality uh, to it, you know, when I think it's important to play good defense. I think it's important, um, you, you know, you have to be able to run the ball. I think, you know, we've been through this. When you look at the numbers over 20 years, you know, they're telling about taking care of the football, um, about being able to run the football and stop the run and, and being able to, to efficiently throw the football. All three of those things, um, are heavy predictors of success. So, you know, th those are the things that uh, fundamentally we have to be able to do. You talk that injuries are inevitable and that you just have to learn to deal with them and, you know, get the next guy ready. But does it become harder, though, when it seems to hit at one or two positions a lot? Uh, you know, we just take them as they come. And unfortunately, um, you know, they've happened here in the last, you know, week or so that uh, we'll have to deal with and, and keep moving and get guys ready and keep – Keep seeing uh, who can help us. What does Kevin Rader add to your tight end group? Well, I mean, I think he's had some experience. He's, he's been in a good organization. Um, you know, a bigger body that, that, you know, has been able to run, but been able to play special teams in the past. Is there potential for Lawan to play again this season? Uh, he's out this week. Uh, Amadi's out, Ola's out, Bud's out.